on the grind, yeah, I do this all the time Yo, wake up in the morning, go get a state of mind I done feel so many times, but they gotta keep trying I ain't giving up, nigga, put it all on the line, yo all right, y'all, today is August 31st, back at it again. Um, I accepted a dolly about two days ago. Um, I'm taking apart a king size um, bed frame. I believe this customer bought it on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, me and my helper are gonna take it apart, load it in my van, transport it. I believe the drive is about 15 miles, something like that. Uh, I don't know if we got to put it back together, but uh, I don't mind. The pay is going to be good, so uh, that's my only job I got that I had pre-scheduled. Uh, and then I'm going to drop off my paperwork, so I did a, a longer drive uh, for my uh, carrier company yesterday. Uh, I'm going to drop off the paperwork for that, and then uh, I should be able to pick up my paycheck on Friday, tomorrow the 1st. I get paid on the 1st and the 15th. So I don't know uh, my payment for yesterday will be on there, but we'll see. But I'll definitely share all my earnings from the jobs that I did. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are like, I would never do that. Especially you don't know how much you're getting paid. Trust me, I understand. But this is a journey. I do want to learn from experience. So, uh, you know, I gotta put a lot of faith in this company that they gonna do me right. But like I said, they do uh, they do negotiate. They're, you know, if you don't agree with the pay, you can negotiate. I mean, it's kind of after the fact, but I don't know, man. They just different. So, anyways, uh, let's go get this dolly. All right, man. I'm about uh, ten minutes out, so it's uh, it's nine thirty. Supposed to be there at ten. My uh, carrier company just called me. Again, I told y'all, they just, they calling me. Like, I, I don't even have to tell them I'm available. They calling me. So they got a load for me tomorrow, picking up uh, the same city I was at uh, yesterday. I don't know if it's the same uh, area, but it's a, it's not a, a heavy, she said it's like 12 pounds, like three boxes, like 12 pounds each, something like that. Nothing big or heavy at all. Uh, she wants to know if I can pick up at eight in the morning and take it to Austin. And Austin is not that bad of a drive. Austin's about an hour and a half drive um, from where I'll be picking up. So um, I told her, yeah, I'll do it. So um, I know uh, a lot of people complain, man. I think some of y'all on my channel, some of y'all complain too much. Um, what I'm learning, this is just my experience. You can't everything is not perfect like no matter what you do every gig app is something to complain about every company uh every carrier company it's always gonna be something to complain about always the rates the pay how they do things like what i'm learning is the object of the game is to keep something back there i need something to haul every day and yeah i don't like the way they pay I don't like the way they do it. I don't like the way they uh, do their rates. I don't like that they pay me a paycheck, not direct deposit, all that stuff. It's a lot of stuff I don't like. But at the end of the day, they are getting me loads. They are getting me work. That's what I need. So if it's a dollar a mile, if it's $2 a mile, $3 a mile, whatever it is, sometimes you just gotta roll with it. You know, because if you burn too many bridges, then what's left? You know, if you say no to everything, complain about everything, you go to another carrier company, then you got something to complain about them. So, what I'm learning, you just gotta work with what you got, man. Like, that's why I say, load your phone up with gig apps, sign up, not just one carrier company, I'm still, I'm looking for more. You know how long it took me to get with this company? I've been looking for, trying to get on with a carrier company in my area for, probably about three months straight I was sending in applications and this one finally I, I had to send it about three times I had to call make sure they got my application still didn't get a response and I emailed them again I kept bugging them and finally I got the call back so like they're not looking for me I gotta go look for them so I'm cool with it like I said 
uh, I'll go over all the pay. If it makes sense, I'm good. So I can't control how they do it. But I'm just saying, man, like some of y'all, man, y'all standards is too high. Sometimes you just gotta work with what, what you got. And uh, I think anything over a dollar a mile is, is decent. So it's, it's not good, good rates, I understand. Somebody in the comments said, uh, box trucks not even getting two dollars a mile. I don't know if that's true or not, but I mean everybody's complaining about rates. So I'm doing local. Like I'm focused on local runs. I think the pay is pretty decent for the the amount of driving I'm doing and the loads I'm taking. It's very easy. So stop complaining. Get to work. All right, man. I'm going to. Uh, it's a house in Bernie. It's a gated community, so it's probably gonna be a big old mansion house. Uh, the customer said the bed is in the uh, garage, but it needs to be taken apart. So I did bring my tools. I don't know what type of tools I need, but hopefully uh, we don't have any issues taking it apart. All right, man, getting close to my uh my first stop where the bed is, uh, been in here many a times. My old job delivered quite a few sleep number beds in here. So these are some, uh, some big mansion type homes. Very nice area. A lot of these homes are hidden behind the trees. You got to go down this long driveway just to get to the house. man loaded up uh, unfortunately the customer had to help me load it my helper was late did not show up so got it loaded I told the helper to just meet me at the setup location so thankfully it was already taken apart um, didn't have to take it apart so uh, the customer that we're delivering to has some of the pieces that we need and uh, hopefully this setup is pretty easy so we'll see but the bed, it looks real heavy, but it's actually not that heavy. It wasn't bad at all. 
All right, man, I'm here. Uh, it's this location right here. It's actually on a golf course. It's pretty nice. Um, I'm not gonna film it. Um, I just wanna uh, knock this out because we gotta put this bed together. So uh, I'll update y'all once I'm done. Should take about uh, maybe 30 minutes. man all done this lady live on the golf course that's her house back there if you can see it that's her house right there on the end she live on the golf course man um so don't be mad do not be mad i'm going home it's 11 45 that was my only job today that dolly so that dolly we picked up the already disassembled bed frame king bed uh, drove about 15 almost 20 miles uh, set up the bed it was very easy it was not hard at all I had all the uh, the tools to you know fit all the screws and um, put the bed together took literally like 10 minutes um, customer gave me a $25 tip me and my partner so it was uh, 177 was the pay, and uh, plus the uh, 25 dollar tip, and then my wife also did my dealer's route, so that's another 50 dollars. So I'm over 250. So I'm good. It's hot. I'm tired. I'm hungry. That's what I love about it, man. I'm about to go home. Cause I could do that. So anyways, uh, tomorrow I am taking that, that load. Um, I did ask them to give me an estimated uh, rate, which uh, they're supposed to get back to me. Just out of curiosity, but um, I'll be doing that tomorrow morning. I don't know if that's gonna be my only run or not. Uh, it all depends. Um, I got a lot. I got a lot going on right now, especially with my kids. They both playing football. And my son, my middle son has a football game in Round Rock this weekend. So uh, we're trying to debate if we want to stay down there or just do the drive. So Round Rock is like past Austin. So anyway, we got a lot going on this weekend. Uh, so yeah, Friday, I'm gonna do what I can. And then uh, that's gonna be it. So I'm really happy to have met uh, my partner. He uh, he has his own moving company, so he kind of just does dolly on the side. Uh, this is another thing I love about the gig apps. You meet you meet so many different people 
and everybody's doing something. You learn from everybody. So he has a hookup for me um, as far as like getting moving parts, like moving uh, materials. So like I need, I was just telling him, I need some shrink wrap. I do, I do a lot of moves now, especially furniture stuff. I need shrink wrap. He got a hookup for that. All the moving stuff, blankets, everything, tape. So like I said, man, I love, I love doing the gig apps. I love meeting, meeting uh, different people. Um, you just never know who can help you. You help each other. So anyways, uh, I just inherited another blanket. Uh, the house I picked up from, they had moving blankets and he had one he didn't want. So he just gave it to me. So I got five moving blankets now. So. I'm good, I got plenty of blankets. Uh, I, left, I left my business card at the uh, pickup and drop off. So, making moves, man, making moves. But I'm about to go home and eat. Good day, good earning day today. Did not work long, it's, it's it literally, I, I started, this job was 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock job, I'm heading home, it's 11.50. So two hours, I made 250 plus dollars so yeah so uh anyways i will uh catch y'all on the next one